we had some questions pertaining to this. So let's just start with the news of the day for the Browns. It's not always good news when it happens early in April. And in this case, it certainly was not Michael Woods, the second, uh, second year receiver, Mary Kay, who seemed like he was going to get some opportunities uh, behind kind of that, that top group of receivers working out with Deshaun Watson, uh, ruptures his Achilles, um, is going to undergo surgery done for the 2023 season. So I, I guess just your reaction when, when this news first happened. Well, I was so disappointed, Dan, because you know that uh, in training camp last year, I got a chance to sit down one-on-one -on -one with Michael Woods. I really got to know him actually pretty well during that interview, and I've been pulling for him ever since. That was the story that I wrote about how uh, Michael Woods, you know, when he was a young boy, uh, he was found at the bottom of the family pool. He had to be pulled out, rescued, uh, spent a lot of time. Uh, you know, in, in the hospital after that. And uh, it's the story about how, you know, his family kind of coped with that and how he had this basically near death experience. He remembers seeing himself from above and out of body experience and um, you just how that kind of shaped him as a person and also as a player. And so I've always kind of been pulling a little bit for Michael Woods, and I'm very disappointed that this happened for him. I was excited to see what he was going to bring to the table this year. We know that he was down there working out with Deshaun Watson. They were working on their timing. He's from Magnolia, Texas. So he grew up watching, not grew up because they're not that far apart in age, but uh, he has always looked up to Deshaun Watson, even when he was in college and uh, when Deshaun was. And so uh, this is very, very disappointing. Uh, you hate to see this happen to, you know, to any player because an Achilles is a really tough thing to come back from. Yeah. You, you know, we've seen, um, obviously Grant Delpit has come back from it. Um, it's, it's never good when it happens, but at least he's younger. Um, you know, Jakeem Grant's another guy that's trying to come back from one and, and he's 30 years old. It's going to be a lot harder for him. So um, like I said, not an injury you ever want to see happen to anyone because it is such a, a traumatic and devastating injury. I mean, like you said, he's going to be done for the year. Um, but at, at least if there's a bright side is that he's still young and you would hope the recovery will be a little bit easier for him. Okay. So let's get to some questions, uh, a few receiver questions off of this. So this, uh, comes from the six, one, four area. Actually, here's a name, uh, Mavro from Columbus. Hey, Mary Kay going in, it felt like Anthony Schwartz's time was numbered or his days were numbered. Does Michael Woods injury give Anthony Schwartz a little more life? You know, it may or may not, because with Anthony Schwartz, uh, his calling card is his speed. It's a different kind of a game than what you're going to get out of Michael Woods. Uh, you know, Michael had a lot going for him, but he, you know, he was size. He was more along the lines of a, you know, Donovan Peoples-Jones, Amari Cooper, good hands, good route runner, good size, that kind of thing. Speed is Anthony Schwartz's game, and now uh, they've gone out and gotten two other speed guys. It doesn't mean that you don't have room for three. It just means it's going to be tougher for him. So, uh, you know, I think they basically were looking at his situation and saying, we have to get speed on the field and we're not sure he's going to be able to provide it. We're not sure he's going to be tough enough and up to speed enough to, to do what we need him to do this year. So they went out, they got Elijah Moore who can do a little bit of everything. He can play inside. He can play outside. He's agile, shifty, fast, you know, more in the, along the lines of a, you know, like a poor man's Tyreek Hill type of a player. And then, um, and then they got Marquise Goodwin and he is, you know, your stretch vertical stretch guy, your, you know, your go route guy. Um, so Anthony Schwartz is going to have to step it up and prove that he does deserve playing time, but he's for sure on the clock. And it, I mean, it always feels kind of cold talking about it like this because we are talking about a player who, who got injured and, and is going to miss a season, but that's the NFL. Um, it, this does open up a roster spot for mm -hmm. someone. So this, uh, you know, if Anthony Schwartz was kind of on the outs, yes, he's a different type of receiver, but this does at least open up a roster spot if he shows up and can, even if he shows Bubba Ventrone, and, hey, I'm, I'm a valuable special teamer and you want to give me an opportunity there. Um, it just it does create at least one extra spot and, and one less player that they're going to have to, to let go um, come the cut down to 53. Yeah. I mean, as it was, I had already been looking at that wide receiver room and sort of wondering how it was all going to shake out because uh, you know, as we know, they added three 
pass catchers, three really good pass catchers this year in Elijah Moore, who will be number two, number three, depending on how things go between uh, him and Donovan Peoples-Jones, and then Marquise Goodwin. And then the third pass catcher is actually a tight end uh, who plays as a big bodied wide receiver in Jordan Aikens. So, uh, you know, the, you know, the room was getting a little crowded or the core, the pass catching core was getting a little crowded as it was. And not everybody's going to make the final 53 roster. So what they will probably do is some of these guys are going to end up on the practice squad. And that could be a place where, you know, maybe they're not ready to give up on Anthony Schwartz yet, but maybe he lands over on the practice squad for a while. And then he gets called up when he shows that he can do it. So um, we'll have to see how it all shakes out.